This is the first of two weeks on the respiratory system. And this week we'll focus on anatomy as we usually start with, um, some of the general functions, histology, then we'll go into long volumes and pressure and pressure changes that allow us to get air in and out of the body. Next week, we'll go into gas transport and some regulation of, of breathing mechanics. So what I wanna start with is what does respiration mean? And what is the respiratory system responsible for? So respiration is basically everything related to getting O2 in the body and getting CO2 out. There are four steps to this that we will go through, of course, in more detail. Here's an overview. One, let's use the simple term first, breathing. Of course, there's a technical term for this as well, is called pulmonary ventilation. We are ventilating the lungs. Inspiration means air goes in. Expiration means air goes out. Many of the passageways along here are gonna be conducting passageways. So this is conducting air along these passageways. The next step is called external respiration. This is the diffusion of gases. And specifically, external respiration is the diffusion of oxygen from the lungs to the to circulation and carbon dioxide from circulation to the lungs. Um, and this is diffusion because these two gases are hydrophobic. They can go right across those membranes, the cell membranes that make up the endothelium of the capillaries and the cells in the lungs as well, which we'll look at this week more. Actually, this is them, alveoli thin cells, all simple squamous tissue. Number three, gas transport. What does this gas transport? Is the circulatory system, right? So the cardiovascular system is actually part of respiration. Um, gases are carried, which gases, but CO2 and O2, are carried in the bloodstream throughout circulation. We will look at this next week, this process in detail, how these gases get um, loaded onto red blood cells or sometimes they're carried in the plasma. Last one, internal respiration. This is also going to be diffusion. And you can see it there in the picture to my right. Oxygen is traveling from the blood to the tissues. Carbon dioxide is diffusing from the tissues to the blood. What do you think this blue little line here is? This is a part of um, the process that is not going to be considered as part of our respiratory system. But I want to tell you what it is. This is cellular respiration. So inside the cells, right, we've got glucose and oxygen making ATP cellular respiration. That is not a topic of this chapter that we'll talk about, but you need to keep in mind that it's happening because that's why we're producing carbon dioxide all the time and needing fresh oxygen to be delivered. Um, and it has the word respiration in it, but it has it's, it's cellular respiration, which is outside of what this chapter is focused on. Okay. Here is an overview of the respiratory organs. There's different ways to classify them. So one categorization method <laughs> is just upper and lower. So here's the upper respiratory system. Um, most of the pieces right here, nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, and the sinuses. Um, so that is these top portions here. And we've got lower. The lower respiratory system is the larynx, trachea, and then all of these structures are part of the lungs. There's a couple other respiratory structures that are secondary. So diaphragm and the muscles of the ribs. There's muscles, skeletal muscles in between each of your ribs. Um, these are skeletal muscles that are important for respiration as well because they're gonna allow our thoracic cage to change volume and allow air to go in and out. All of 
Another way to categorize these organs is by conducting systems. So many of these respiratory um, organs, their job is just to conduct air, their passageways. So that's another way to categorize. Um, most of these tubes are conducting. And then these last two here, this is where we're going to have um, diffusion occur, diffusion of gases. So we'll see this again, these kind of just air passing through to get to the place where it's going to diffuse. Functions of the respiratory system, main one, right, is exchanging gases with our environment, with the atmosphere, obtaining oxygen and getting rid of carbon dioxide. There are two secondary functions I want to mention. One is speech. So this involves the passage of air out of the body in this case. So coming from um, the lungs, that air comes out and the larynx is going to be also important for actually how we form words, um, produce, produce words. <laughs> the other one is smell. So another thing that involves the passage of, of air this case into the body to um, trigger olfactory receptors. We won't talk about this one this week, um, but just to note that's another function of the respiratory system. Of course, there's other secondary functions like this whole thing needs to be protected. So some of the structures involved in the respiratory system are going to be for protecting itself, like your nose um, is involved in keeping junk um, debris out of the trachea to keep your respiratory system clean 